Hi, my name's Marie. I'm the Deputy Manager of the Small Animal Department at Wood Green Animal Shelters. I'm going to tell you how to care for rats. I'm going to tell you how to gather rat supplies. There are many different options for you to be able to find rat cages, rat enrichment, cleaning products and food products. You can look on the internet, your local pet shops, rescue shelters, even go to charity shops and car boot sales and even jumble sale where you'll find all sorts of ideas for enrichment and bedding materials as well. When first considering taking on a rat, you're going to need to make sure that you're able to provide a good quality and large cage. The cage we've got in this example here is the smallest that we would suggest for two to three rats. And these can be available in nearly all pet shops, you can buy them online and you could also contact your local rescue shelter who often have many second-hand cages available. You could also consider converting an indoor bird aviary, chinchilla aviary or, chin or ferret aviary. Make sure if you do go for this option that it has small bars that the rats can't escape through. And again, you might be able to find this on your local free ads, internet um, or even in a charity shop as well. So have a look around. They are available out there, but make sure you can provide a really big rat cage. You'll then need to consider purchasing bedding. You can either use a product called Carefresh, and this is available in most pet shops and on the internet as well. This is the best type of bedding for rats as it's absorbent and it's safe from parasites and it's dust free to protect them from breathing issues. Avoid wood shavings as this is often really bad for parasites. The other option you could use is shredded paper and this should be the short type and this can be free. If you've got a shredder at home you can make your own rat bedding. The rats will also need materials to go into the actual sleeping area. You can use soft shredded tissue paper which can be placed inside the houses. You could also consider using some old towels or old socks, jumpers, which again can be stuffed in their house areas and they love snuggling up into these. So these can be free or you can purchase them from your local shops. You'll need a pet disinfectant to clean out your rat cages. Every week the rat cage is going to need to be thoroughly cleaned out. The rats are going to need to be removed from it, placed into, an indoor, into a carry cage and you'll need to remove all the toys and disinfect the cage and the toys. So make sure you've got a really good quality pet disinfectant. Leading on from that, you're going to need a suitable pet carrier. You may need this to take your rats to the vet or simply when you're cleaning them out. Make sure it's a quite a large one so that the rats can sit comfortably in it and go to sleep whilst you're doing that. It's a good idea to place some of their bedding in there already so they've got their own smell and that will help them feel nice and calm and relaxed. When you've finished cleaning out your rats and using it, make sure you use the pet disinfectant and clean that out. These are available on the internet, on pet shops and on probably most of your local rescue shelters as well and you can quite easily get these from many charity shops second hand as well so have a look around but it's a really good idea to invest into one of those. Enrichment toys can be free or you can purchase them from shops. You can get ideas like these bendy sticks, you can get hammocks and plastic houses as demonstrated in these cages. The other option is the free option. You could consider making your own rat toys and finding toys around your house. Children's toys are often brilliant, so you can add these into the accommodation. You could also consider using things like wooden wine racks, and they're brilliant for the rats to be able to climb on and hide into as well. So they're often around your house and they're free. If you visit your local charity shop or a local jumble sale, you can probably pick these up for a few pennies. Lastly, you're going to need to consider food and water. You'll need to make sure that you purchase at least two or three water bottles in case one breaks or becomes dirty. So make sure you've purchased a couple of these and these again are available for most pet shops, rescue shelters and charity shops as well. So, and the internet as well. So have a look around, make sure you've got a couple available. And then with the food, there are many different types of dry mix available on the market. 
Use one of your chosen mixes and then add in lots of different types of food as well. So you can purchase them from your pet shop or your local rescue shelter and then consider going onto the internet and buying uh, naturals, herbs and dried treats. You could also use a good quality cat mix and dog kibble to add into the mix as well for extra protein. Many rat forums, it's a really good idea if you can um, log on to one of them and you'll be able to get lots of up-to-date ideas for them. There's also often most of these websites available really good books that give you loads of ideas on healthy diets for rats um, and they'll also meet to the ages and the health issues with the rats. So log on to your local rat forum and you'll be able to find one of these suitable as well. And that's how to gather rat products.